Hey guys, it's your girl Zai and I'm coming to you with another video. Today we're talking about The Sims 4. If you play The Sims 4 and you play with mods, you know that sometimes you start to run out of space. And so, like many of you, I needed to find a way to free up space on my C drive so that I could play my game. So I want to show you guys how I transferred my Sims 4 game to another drive to save some space on my computer. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, then continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what videos you want to see next or if this video was helpful to you. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a temporary mods folder. I've already done that here. Um, I want you to do this just so you can back up your mods. If you don't have any space on your C drive to back up your mods, I do recommend for you to go ahead and back up your mods on an external drive. Um, you do want to just make sure that your mods are backed up in a safe place just in case something goes wrong while you're trying to transfer transfer the sims for game over to your d drive so make sure you back up your mods please guys so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your c drive go into program files and go down to origin games now also i would like for you to open up your d drive and what you want to do is go into program files on your D drive, open up origin games, and you want to cut and paste the Sims 4 game into your D drive. I've already done that here. As you can see, everything is already installed. So you want to go ahead and do that. They may, that may take a moment for it to transfer over to your D drive. But once you transfer it over to your D drive, that should automatically free up some space on your C drive. As you can see here, my gigabytes is, I have 34.4 gigabytes free of 118 gigabytes. Before this was red and I didn't have any space at all. But since I cut and pasted over to my D drive, I have space now. So go ahead and cut and paste the Sims from your C drive. Go to Program Files. Go down to Origin Games. Go and then cut and paste. That's all you do. And then the Sims 4 will delete off of origin so i didn't do it here because i already have the sims 4 here but there should not be a sims 4 folder in your c drive any longer it should be on your d drive so i just want to make that clear a few people had questions about the sims 4 folder you do not want to go into documents do not go into documents and move your sims folder over to your D drive. This is not going to work because the Sims 4 is set up to where it can re it can only read your mods folder from the documents folder. Now, I'm not a coder or anything, so I don't know how to code it in a way where I could move my electronic arts folder over to the D drive and have the Sims 4 game automatically read that I've moved it from my documents folder in the C drive to my D drive. I hope that made sense you guys, but don't do anything with your electronic arts folder in documents. It needs to stay there. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and uninstall origin and this is going to free up more space on your c drive so i'm also working on a windows 10 here i'm not really sure what the process is if you have a mac but if you're working on a windows 10 just go ahead into your um uninstall app 
on your Windows 10 computer and you're gonna go down until you see Origin. Then you want to uninstall it. Then you can go onto the website and download Origin. So here I am on the website here they have a download for Windows 10. You go ahead and download it. Now when you download it this time, it's gonna give you the option to choose where you want your origin to download. Make sure you are setting it to download on your D drive because it will automatically download to your C drive. But we're trying to save space on our C drive. So make sure you download origin to your D drive. I cannot say this enough. When you download it, it should be in your D drive under program files. And as you can see, Origin is downloaded here. And Origin Games, here is The Sims 4 that you just cut and paste over. It's already there. So now you want to open Origin. When you open Origin, it's probably going to say download. So you'll just download and it shouldn't take that long because you already have or you already have the Sims 4 on your D drive under Origin Games. So it's just going to go through the files and make sure you have everything there in order for the game to function properly. And if you want to, you can go into Origin Application Settings and go to Installs and Saves. And you want to make sure that it is saved to your D drive. So origin is saved on my D drive in program files, origin games. That's where origin is now going to store all of your games on your D drive. It's no longer going to store your games on your C drive. And that's what you want because we are trying to save space on our C drive so that we can download more mods. But that is all for this video, guys. I truly hope that I helped you all out there. Again, please do not try to move anything from your documents folder, your electronics folder. This, the Sims 4 folder here will stay. Your Sims game will still be able to read your mods and everything. This is just what I did to free up some space on my C drive so that I can download more mods. Of course, if you still do not have space on your C drive, I would recommend just cleaning up your computer. Like if you have a lot of music on there or a lot of videos, pictures, anything, I download, I transfer all of that stuff to my D drive. Um, the only thing that is on my C drive is my most important things, but if you have any additional documents or anything, make sure you save that stuff onto your D drive, not your C drive. But that is all for this video. If you all have any further questions um, or if this did not work for you, comment down below. I'm here to help you guys. If this did help, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what videos you want to see next. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.